Can you breathe here? No, ma'am. I'm just so proud of the team. Um, we started out slow, I mean 4-0, and uh, they just, they, they were, they wouldn't give up. You know, they um, kept counter punching, got 4-4, and 8-4, then we fought back to that. Had the lead at the half, I jumped way up. Huh? But uh, they just kept fighting, kept fighting. And then um, the second half we came out, kept preaching about not coming out slow. The last two games we came out slow. And we had a couple quick turnovers. Told the kids, guys, we're okay, we're okay. That's, that's all I kept telling them, we're okay. And um, focus back in. I said, this is how we started the first half. We gotta get, get composed again, we're gonna be all right. And um, they, they did. They, you know, that first half, well, let me back it up. This kid, what, 18 points the first half? Did you know that? No. <laughs> okay, well, 18 points first half. And um, getting those steals after steals after steals out of that press and attacking the rim like she was doing, she she pulled us through that first half. And uh, Taylor was that, that kid that is like, hmm, you know, I, I don't know much about Taylor Jackson. After the night, people know about Taylor Jackson because she showed them what she's made of. And, uh, you know, I can't be any prouder of her than what I am right now. Uh, I have been so hard on her all year. And uh, worth it. Worth it. <laughs> and I just, I tell her, I'm like, baby, we, we, uh, it, we, you're the secret to us winning. You're the secret to us. And uh, show tonight. And then uh, second half, once we got, you know, composed again, fought it through, took a little lead, kept trying to get the girls to settle into the game. You know, let's let's play this game out. It's you know, Michaela Williams, my word, Michaela Williams. Um, she she's deadly, and so um, no lead was too big, and so the um, uh, Jaylee turned it on that second half, and she was steady the whole game, but she turned it on that second half with the scoring, and uh, just took control. Um, I was just I was just so proud of them, um, and then of course down. And then we came, she hit the three to tie it, bring us to the first overtime. Girls fought, it just, I, I, everything's going through my mind, everything. And uh, we just, I'm just so glad that uh, it ended the way it was and that they knew what to do and they pulled us through it. But um, Parkway played us all, earlier in the year and Presley Walls was out. She had a broken leg. Uh, she broke it in the Paris tournament in December. And uh, Jada Clark had a bumped ankle right after that. So I was out two starters when we played Parkway the first time. And uh, we went up there and I told one of my coaches, I said, guys, I said, I don't think we can beat them twice this year. I said, we can beat them once, but we can't beat them twice. Last year, we beat Benton early in the season. They came and put us out. The year before, we beat Washita early. They put us out. And so I just kind of saw them in that position. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was like, I, I did, we didn't do anything fancy. We went out there, played a very skeleton defense. And plus we played horrible and they shot lights out. And so they beat us by 25. And um, so last night we're sitting there watching the game and Lafayette, I love Lafayette, I love their coach. And um, you know, kids were kind of like, you know, cheering a little bit for both teams, but you know, kind of pulling for Lafayette. And um, uh, I told my coaches, I said, I want Parkway to win. And they were like, what? And I said, we're ready to beat Parkway. We have them set, we're ready to beat Parkway. And um, they were like, oh, okay. And so last night, after, uh, two nights ago after we won, the coaches told them, coach said she wanted Parkway. And so I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I'm ecstatic as you can tell. And I'm gonna stop rambling now, but thank y'all for everything. Talk a little bit about the defense you all played on Williams. Yeah. At the beginning? Yeah, the face of, uh, yes, yes, sir. We started, uh, we started, get, we knew we had to shut down Michaela. We started with a, a diamond and a one, and wherever Michaela was, we were doubling her. Whenever she had the ball, we were doubling her, trying to get her frustrated, take her out of the game. So we did that early. And then, um, and we, well, we held her to four at the first half. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we came out the second half, and um, we stayed in that. And then at some point in the third quarter, I think we moved to the uh, triangle and two. Or was that later in the game? It might have been in the overtime. We went to the triangle and two, and we put uh, you and Presley on her. And they did a good job there. We had three guarding the lane and shifting out, whatever. And then um, then they, others were hitting the three, so I put J uh, Jada Clark 
I'm from 21, and I'm sorry the names are leaving my head right now, but um, put up Jada up there, and then I had Taylor and Libby guard in the middle, guard in the middle, and they were just in charge of that. And so, um, and then our defense, our, our press at the beginning of the game was really effective. So, um, and then like I said, on the backside, what she was doing, so. Jaylee, what about the three-pointer that sent it over to you? Talk straight away, 24 feet or so. You knew it was in when you left your hand or what? Uh, um, I actually, I, I felt it when I shot it. I felt it. My, in the beginning, my shots weren't really falling, but when I shot that one, I knew it was going in. And then the game winner, talk about that on the baseline, the jumper that she hit to. Uh, I knew I had to take over the game. I had to step up and play my role. Obviously, uh, everybody kind of came into the game knowing about Michaela, but did you kind of want to, you know, kind of show that you're on that on that level as well? Or did, of was course, that you thought about? of course, of course. She's uh, I'm not taking anything away from her, but I can I can be up to her level too. Well, late in the game, when um, you know, we we're discussing stuff about okay, well, who's going to guard Michaela? We're doing different things. She said, Coach, I, I want to do it, and I said. You want to you want to go? She said, "I think it's worth the chance." And I was like, "Yes, ma'am, let's go." I mean, she stepped up and asked for her, and I was like, "You got her." So. If she misses that last shot, Taylor. You guys contested it, and you had to scramble for that rebound. And once you got that rebound, and she got her hands on it, what was that feeling like? It felt amazing. It felt amazing. Slacking um, in the second half, and daily picking up my slack, and daily slacking in the first half, and I got to pick up her slack. It just, it just, it felt great to like. It's really amazing. Coach Robert Bain has sat in the stands today. I mean, I don't know how you can, they were sitting down. I don't know how anyone was sitting down, especially in overtime. How do you describe the emotions of the overtime periods for both this first and second one? Okay, you're talking about my fans? Yeah. Okay, a lot of my fans are the older community of Punchatula. And so if you come to the, the girls' games, our, the, the side behind the benches are all the older, older people that you got to play the, the old music for that they pick me pick at me about and I'm like guys it's about the community it's not about us at this point but um that's just their demeanor that's what they do uh our cheering our student section they're not real uh, loud and they don't you know but I, I don't understand like for the boys games they're up and they'll get up for it but the girls games are just kind of flat and we, we told them we didn't care who was in the stands if nobody was in the stands or if it was packed we were coming to play tonight and uh, that's how they attack every game. Mm -hmm. Coach,